When your phone encounters issues such as failure to power on, inability to charge, or unstable power supply, use ADC regulated power supply to bypass the battery. This ensures stable power supply, allowing the phone to boot up and enabling you to diagnose potential circuit board issues such as short circuits or damage. Here are the five steps to correctly use a DC regulated power supply. Turn on the power supply and adjust the required parameters to the desired level. This is the switch between 5 amps and 1 amps current. Switch between output and test functions. This is the voltage adjustment knob. Switch between 5 volts, 8.4 volts, and 15 volts lock. Output interface for 9 volts round hole, 5 volts, 2 amps USB output interface. Ensure that the output voltage matches the voltage requirements of your load. Set current to 5 amps, which is higher than the load's operating current. The power output corresponds to the two left red and black ports. The testing ports correspond to the two right black and red ports. Then, connect the power supply's negative terminal to the load's negative input, positive terminal to the load's positive input. Ensure correct polarity, in case of a connection error, the power supply will enter a protection mode. Connect to the device for repair, ensure proper connection, then power on and monitor the DC regulated power supply's current. To power off, reduce the voltage to zero and turn off the power supply. So here are 5 steps to correctly use a DC regulated power supply. Thanks for watching, here at Sunshine, our vision is to bring great tools for global users. If you are interested in getting to know more about Sunshine products, feel free to reach out to us via WhatsApp or email. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.